Thank you, Megan, and uh, welcome everyone. As Megan said, my name is Simon Voltham, the Regional Account Director here at V Technologies, uh, and we appreciate you taking some time this afternoon to learn more about our Starship Cloud platform uh, and how it compares to our ShipGear platform that you all are using today. And as you all have received notices that we are uh, sunsetting our ShipGear product as of December 21st, uh, 20, December 31st, 2023. Um, and we're um, basically, you know, really excited to tell you more about our Starship Cloud Platform and the features that it all provides. Um, so we're going to go through a very short presentation here, uh, and then I'm going to turn it to, over to Jason, who's going to do a quick demo of the Starship Cloud Platform with Macola um, and kind of show you all the features and benefits it offers uh, with the integration. And then we'll kind of turn it over um, for questions and answers at the end. Okay, so we'll get started here. Um, so a little bit about VTech. Um, so obviously everyone here pretty much knows about V Technologies um, as a loyal uh, customer to us. Uh, but really, we've been um, Starship has been around really since 1989. Um, we've been in business since 1987. Uh, Starship is um, part of the UPS Ready program as well as the FedEx Compatible Solutions program. Um, we basically are been partners now in the Macola space with Starship since 2005. So basically 17 years. Um, of providing the shipping functionality with not only ship gear, but also our Starship uh, platform as well. Um, Starship also, um, between Starship and ship gear, we have over 10,000 customers using the applications today. Um, so we're eagerly excited to welcome all the ship gear users onto the Starship platform. Um, so again, that's something that uh, we're kind of sad for ship gear to see go, uh, but also we're excited as well to see um, Starship Cloud kind of rise to the occasion and kind of take over those users um, with the integrations we offer. <clears throat> so a little bit about the features that Starship offers that kind of differ um, from what you're using with ShipGear today. Um, so Starship is really a multi-carrier uh, um, shipping application. Uh, so basically we're gonna be able to ship with multiple carriers, not only parcel carriers, uh, but also various LTL carriers and 3PLs that you may be using as well on the side. Um, it is gonna use one user interface that Jason will show you here in a minute. Um, we will replace all of the carrier applications you're using today, um, such as UPS WorldShip, Ship Manager, Indicia, um, or any other post office solution. So all of those will essentially go away and Starship will kind of take its place. Um, Starship will use your negotiated rates. So we do get that question a lot. Um, so there's no concern there um, to basically show you your rates in the application uh, and all the billing will remain the same. Um, we do offer a rate shop, as I mentioned as well, um, really to help reduce freight spend. Uh, with our rate shopping feature built into Starship, being able to show you all of those discounts in one um, carrier um, or one uh, area within the application, um, we're able to show you the various rates, um, kind of sort those from lowest to highest, uh, as well as even show you the discounted post office rates that Starship is able to provide to you. Um, so that's another benefit to kind of helping reduce that freight spend we're talking about. Um, Starship also has a variety of e-commerce integrations, which I'll show you here in a second, um, all the various uh, e-commerce marketplaces and shopping carts that we can tie into along with Macola. Um, so we can also update um, the e-commerce platform along with the Macola in, uh, interface. At the same time, we refer to it as e-commerce as an extension. Um, so if you are using any of the shopping carts that are out there today um, that we support, we can definitely talk to you about that and the integrations that we can provide. And then lastly, really simplifying all the shipping paperwork, right? We hear it all the time how it's cumbersome from the front office to the back warehouse, um, kind of who's printing a packing list, who's printing an international commercial invoice, right? Starship has the ability of really compiling all of these documents together, um, not only from a packing list and a label, but also to a commercial invoice if you're shipping internationally. Uh, maybe you have some hazmat needs and need to print some OP900 forms um, or manifests. We can print all that through the Starship application. Uh, and really simplify that process and keeping that document, all those documents together. This is just a list of the various um, parcel and LTL carriers we support today. Um, so as we know, Shipgear only supports FedEx and UPS today. Um, we had some customers grandfathered in with Indicia that is uh, soon to be expiring here in a week. Uh, but again, Starship supports roughly about 25 different carrier applications, um, along with LTL and parcel, and then a few 3PL um, platforms as well. So again, if you're using any of these applications and looking to kind of tie it all together, um, we can definitely speak to you about how we do that. Uh, today's demo is going to focus more around the parcel workflow, uh, but if you do have any LTL needs that you want to be addressed, 
we can definitely take that offline as well and work with you on a private demo. And then these are the various e-commerce integrations we support today. Um, so again, the Shopify's, the WooCommerce, the Magento's, kind of the popular ones that are out there. Obviously the Amazon and Ebay's that most people use as well. Um, all of these have a direct tie-in with uh, Starship, but also, as I mentioned, in e-commerce as an extension tie-in to kind of flow out of Macola along with Starship. So again, we can talk to you about these needs if you have them, um, and you can let Jason or even Will on my team um, kind of uh, walk you through that uh, workflow if, if you have that. So I'm going to turn it over to Jason now to kind of walk us through kind of a, uh, a demo here of how Starship and Macola work together. Uh, and then we'll kind of uh, open it up to questions if you have any for us, and we'll be happy to address those. So Jason, floor is yours. Thank you, Simon. Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Jason, and I'm the Macora Account Executive. What I'm going to walk you guys through today is going to be how to process a UPS shipment, as well as the integration aspect with Starship to Macora. Like Simon mentioned, Starship would essentially replace any carrier platform, such as Wordship, Ship Manager, you would essentially be able to process that shipment right within this platform. How that integration works is once you have that created sales order within Macora, Starship's gonna automatically pull that information into this screen here. What you see is a list of all the available orders that are ready to be shipped. You can filter these orders on any of these columns up above, any of these categories as well. You can scan the barcode or type in the order number right here. However, once you find the order that you want to ship, it's a relatively easy process to initiate that. You just hit this truck icon on the right-hand side. What you will see is Starship will display all that information that came over from Macora. So as you can see on the top right-hand side, we're going to verify the sales order number so you can cross-reference. We're gonna pull in the sender ID and then a big difference between Starship and ShipCare is Starship will do an address validation. So not only will Starship validate that address, it will also let you know if it's gonna be a business or a residential address, as well as if they have a loading dock, which will be important for those LTL shipments. If you go over to the transportation section, you would essentially be able to default to your UPS ground account you won't have to manually type in any account number as this will pre-fill. You also have the capability of shipping on your customer, customer's account if needed. If we go over to the shipment details, this is where you'll be able to add any additional information such as insurance, quantum view notifier, or any of these items below. You can default any of these items to automatically turn on for every shipment or the shipper can manually come in here and manually click on that before processing that shipment. If we go over to packaging, you'll be able to see that we do provide a packaging database that will save your dimensions to erase the need to manually input that information. I have two items, as you can see, going into my drill case. If you want to add an additional box, it's super simple. You just hit this box icon, choose from one of your predetermined boxes to pull that in. Next, the big difference between Starship and Shipcare is that we do pull in the line item information. This is important when it comes to the value of the item, the weight. Um, if you're shipping internationally, we will save the Schedule B codes. If you're shipping LTL, we will save the NMFC code. So that way you will not have to continuously input that information every time you ship that item. And then a big feature of Starship is gonna be our shop all button. Essentially what this will do is it's gonna generate an API call to all the carriers that can take this shipment. It's going to display the different rates and the total business days. So that way you'll be able to see all of this information at your fingertips. The shipper can then make an educated decision if they wanna to switch to USPS, FedEx, whatever the case may be, choose that carrier, your your account number will automatically populate, and from there, you'll be able to process that shipment. Mm -hmm. Starship also has the capability, capabilities of adding freight rules. Essentially, what a freight rule is, is a markup. In my example here, you'll be able to see that the contract charge, which is what the carrier is gonna charge you, is $51.95, but I set up a 10% markup on my freight, so that explains why this number right here is 5714. 
and that would get written back to Macora. Assuming it all looks good, you just hit ship and process to initiate that. From there, Starship will begin that process right back to Macora and also print out the shipping label. So you have an example right here. We have our UPS label on the left-hand side. Starship can also produce a packing list for you as well. You can choose to have these documents print out on the same piece of paper right, like how it is. You can also choose to uh, print them out separately, have the packing list follow the label. During the implementation process, we will work with your team to determine what documents you want to go to what printers. Then if we buy, dive back into Macora, we can actually look, view that right back information. So we go to that invoice. We will be able to see in the header comments the information that just got written back. So it's going to include the tracking number, the carrier, the estimated delivery date, the ship on date, all that information you need to make to know that that order has been shipped. We also write back the freight charge as well. So if you go into the building section, you'll be able to see that information right here, as well as the total cost of the freight and the value of the shipment. Then from there, we can go back into Starship and I can actually give you a view of our dashboard. Mm -hmm. So all these items do come out of the box. If you click right here, you'll be able to see that Starship does provide you a heat map. This is important to marketing teams because it helps them determine where their most popular shipments are going. So you can see very heavy in the tri-state area, very heavy in California and the Oregon area, but it also lets you know what areas you are racking in. Hopefully the marketing team can come up with a strategy to how to attack that market. We also provide you graphs on the right-hand side, as well as a whole list of reports that you can export out of Starship at any point. Another cool feature within Starship is going to be sending that tracking number to the client. So Starship does a great job. We do have an e-notify tool. Essentially what that means is we map in your customer's email address and then we automatically send out an email to the client with the tracking information. This is a custom template, so this is completely customizable. You can put your company header on the top. You can update the content. You can put the promo code at the bottom to encourage clients to go back to your website. Either way, it does include the tracking number, and this is actually going to be a hyperlink to the UPS uh, web page, so that way your clients can track their shipment. So that's essentially how Starship would operate and how Starship would streamline your shipping process. Um, I'm going, going to pass it back over to Simon for him to walk over a special promotion for you. All right, Jason. Well, uh, thank you so much, um, and I appreciate the uh, the demo. Um, so I do want to just uh, kind of uh, thank ev thank everyone for you know kind of listening into the presentation and demo, uh, and I hope that you know everyone took away something from the demo and how we can help you uh, kind of shift over to Starship Cloud. Um, obviously, we kept it very high level for the um, for the time allotted here, but um, if you're interested in doing a more of a private demo more one-on-one -on -one with Jason. Um, we can definitely set those up here in the next uh, week or two for you. Uh, but again, I do want to announce a quick little promotion that we're offering our loyal um, Shipgear users to help make that uh, transition over. Um, so as long as you um, migrate to Starship Cloud by the end of Q2, so June 30th, 2022, um, you basically get a 36% discount, what it works out to be, um, off your first year um, subscription with Starship. Um, so, which is pretty substantial, um, and uh, we definitely uh, would love to see you all come aboard. So, I'm, I'd just like to thank everyone for taking the time. A lot of great questions. I appreciate those, um, and definitely look forward to, you know, having you come on board with Starship. And uh, I think I said, Jason and uh, Will on my team will be, you know, definitely reaching out, um, seeing how we can assist you with that migration. So, um, Jason, any final words on your side? No, I just want to thank everyone for joining us today. And like Simon mentioned, myself and Will should be reaching out shortly and hoping to have a conversation and answer any more any additional questions that may operate till then.